I love how competitive soccer is. I love how it's a team sport, how we might not have all like the most amazing players, but we have an all around great team, so we work better together. I love how you could have a few bad moments, but still have an amazing game. I just love soccer in general. For me, I really like the team part of it, because normally some, most sports are like, it's all individual, but with soccer, it's a whole team, and you work as a team, and you play as a team, so that's my favorite part of it. I just like that you can come together with a group of girls, and you can just do something that you love, and just perfect it. I love how it's competitive, and it's really fun to play with your teammates and friends. Time! Bring it Hey, a couple of tactical notes as you're playing this. First of all, your shape is a diamond. That your base shape is a diamond. I'm seeing a lot of good runs out of that shape. Just remember, someone's got to fill that space. We always have to give width. We always have to give depth, all right? Um, I just like being around girls who love the game as much as I do. Um, it's really interesting to see how hard the girls work, and it's fun to have a little bit of competition the whole experience of the game. I just love making friends, going out there and playing with them, and just sharing the bond of being with a team. So we train twice a week, and then um, like 10 of us would go to this place called Oz, where you just like strength and conditioning. So it was like basically like three practices a week, plus games on the weekend. We did a lot more conditioning than we used to, and we did like a lot more drills and stuff that helps us like keep the ball moving and playing better as a team and more possessions type stuff. For me personally, I went to some different trainers for to help with my position. Since the, tr the training sessions with the team was focused on the whole team as a whole. We worked on foot skills and moving and getting your first touchdown and long balls. We definitely worked on offense a lot and over the course of the season, I'd say we've definitely improved there, but we worked on offense. We did a lot of defense too. Just all around, we basically worked on what we needed to do to improve in the game. Um, we worked on a lot of fitness and a lot of teamwork stuff. Like we worked on, we would some weeks we'd work on defense and some weeks we'd work on offense, just depending on where our strengths were and where our weaknesses were. But we worked very hard when we did all of them. Um, we worked on a lot of shooting and possession. Okay. Um, so in the midfield, um, I want uh, Brooke going to the attacking spot, Lexi go box to box, and Till be the defending. Got it? Okay. And then up front, um, Mia, since you're just getting back into it, I'm going to have Carmen start on the outside and then sub you in and kind of get you back into the flow. Okay? and then everything else should be the same up front. Questions? Okay, bring it, let's go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Ready? Strikers on three! One, two, three, strikers! I learned that once you set goals, you have to give 110% of your time, energy, and effort to make it past those hurdles that you create. And once you give that 110%, you can accomplish anything. The most I learned this year is <laughs> rolling out is really important and ice baths are like my best friend. I learned a lot of different things. I kind of learned how to play at a faster rate because as we went farther into the President's Cup tournament, we started playing more standard teams so like we had to increase our speed of how to play and we had to learn different combinations of different you know, ways to get to the goal. So I learned a lot this year. I learned to play more as a team and to possess the ball better and move faster as the game, like as we progress into the tournaments and stuff, because all the teams we played were playing a lot faster, so I had to keep up with them. Um, I learned that playing together is very important and depending on your teammates is very important, that you can't just do this on your own, you can't dribble up the field by yourself, you have to pass and you have to work together and being close together and the chemistry having with your team is very important. Um, our season was kind of like rough at the beginning. Our first game didn't go that well and our league play wasn't that good and we were just always focusing on getting into the cup and like focusing on cup and then once we actually got there and started playing we were doing awesome. It was awesome. I learned that this year with the competition that we were able to dig deep and keep strong. We had more in us than we really thought we did before. 
that we could push farther than we thought possible. Our season went really great. We first started like with tournaments in the fall and then we moved on to the regular like competition season and uh, we entered the President's Cup and we were like, we're gonna win nationals this year. So we got as far as we could and we finally got second in nationals and I think that's a really good accomplishment. Um, this season was really good. I don't think we expected to go this far and it's something we really hoped for, but yeah, it was, it was really good. We made we made what happened, what we like wanted, what our goals were, we made that happen. Going to the national finals is like really nerve wracking because you have all this weight on you and all these people at home watching your games and monitoring how good you do. And like, it just feels like really nervous and you want to win for everyone else. Experience at the national finals is actually really cool because no other team from Fort Wayne has done it. So it was like, it was just crazy that everybody would just text you and be like, good luck at Nationals, or that they watched the game, and everybody was just cheering you on. It was actually a really good experience. Going to the finals this year was amazing, because last year we came up just short. We got to regionals, we played second, we barely lost. We were upset, it was kind of a rough game for us, but this year we knew coming into the, to it that we wanted more than anything to go to Nationals, and so we worked really hard at it, and then getting there, we were like, wow, we like got here, like this is awesome. Like. This is one of the, it's a once in a lifetime experience that you don't really get to do that often. And so to get there and then compete with teams all across the country that were amazing was just, it was just pretty cool. It was a cool experience. Yeah, going to nationals was awesome. Like, even though we had a really long car ride, when we got there, we had different experiences and we went to different places. We went out to eat into these new restaurants, you know, just like the whole experience outside of soccer was really great. And the fact that we just went there to play soccer was awesome too. And we, we did really good in the games and we played well. Being at Nationals was really cool. I really like seeing all the teams, knowing that these teams are from like all over the country to some states I've never even been to. So I definitely liked experiencing that. We started out with a parent coach and it was kind of like that. It kind of like dragged on for a while and having this college coach who we all thought, you know, college coaches are really mean, you know, make us run all the time. I was really hesitant and kind of like, okay, how is this going to work out? But he definitely just like kind of fit in with all of us and he knew what to say and how to work with us and work with the players. And it was really um, just a really awesome experience having, you know, this college coach coming after like kind of being scared. He's a, he's a great coach and he's probably the best coach that I've had. He just knows how to, he knows how to play the game and how to teach everybody how to do specific things in specific situations. And he's a really good coach. He always pushes us to strive for the best and even when we feel like we've fallen short, he always pushes us right back up and gets us moving. All right, in those final moments when you get into the box, those balls have to be placed into a corner. Just lay it into the corner, get your goal, and get out of there. Right? Let's go for the win. Ready! Tigers on three! One, two, three, Tigers! Tigers.